welcome back to my channel and welcome back to vlogmas as you can see i'm feeling much much better i just rested yesterday and didn't do anything and i feel like the cold is almost gone so we are doing our december lux it up how to lux it up you know that's kind of my thing trademark i don't know um but that is my kind of style series that i am bringing to you every month on how to elevate or lux up um kind of everyday wear um, there, there'll be different things every month if you're new here last month i did how to lux it up i don't even remember what it was <laughs> I'll put it right here how to lux it up what I did last month but this month we are doing leather um I got a lot of requests after my last haul where there was a lot of like vinyl and leather faux leather pieces so we're going to do how to lux up leather um I have a bunch of different things as you can already see I have my new top shop um a little leather outfit um I have some skirts um a dress a bunch of different like leather pieces and I'm going to show you how I lux them up so without any more rambling um if you're curious about this makeup look it is already on my channel also there is a very condensed version on my IGTV so if you're not following me on Instagram follow me there um but we will get into how to lux it up for December and if you want or if you have any suggestions leave them below for January's how to lux it up I'm open it's for you guys so I hope you enjoy of course this will just be a voiceover I will talk through Again, if you're new, this will be a split screen. I'll show you one side of just the plain basic outfit and then the other side will be how it looks it up and I'll talk through my decision making. Basically why I chose the things I chose and how I elevated the look. Okay, I said no rambling, but that was a lot of rambling. So let's get into the video. Okay guys, so here we have a boiler suit or jumpsuit and this is the one I just got from Topshop and the way I looked this up was definitely adding layers but adding something really interesting. So some type of turtleneck with a print or just interesting pattern on it. This one is actually from Rent the Runway. It's a C by Chloe and it has kind of words all over it and then just an interesting I felt like color combination of light blue, tan, white and black. And then I kind of took it a step further um, and made it a little more fashiony with my Prada boots, but just really the idea of tucking in the pants to some type of boot um, that's really on trend right now. And then here you just see me kind of pulling up the sleeves to show more of that print on the turtleneck underneath, which again just gives it a little more interest. Okay, here we have these gorgeous faux leather brown pants and I really wanted to kind of dress this up and make it a little more sophisticated so I paired it with square toe boots which again are very on trend and then I really kind of took the waist in with a vintage belt that belt was thrifted and then I just paired it with my Christian Dior shirt but I think just any kind of simple um, classic t-shirt I kind of rolled up the sleeves again because this is an oversized t-shirt and I want this to be a little more kind of like classic and put together I put my hair back in a ponytail because again and that's just a little more chic some type of bun or ponytail and I like how this look came out again it makes leather a bit more dressed up and a bit more elegant okay this is a shirt dress that I got from Zara and we're gonna go in the opposite direction of the last look and actually edge this one up a little more and really winterize it so adding the black turtleneck underneath and then getting a pair of leggings or tights that are patterned, which again is very on trend. And then I just threw on some combat boots again. And I also did a more interesting pair of sunglasses, again, to just make this a little more interesting. But as you can see, the black really makes it very wintry. And again, you could do leggings if you prefer or something a little more opaque, but I like the interest of the detailed tights here. And you could also switch up the base color underneath and do like a cream turtleneck again and like cream boots. So I think it just depends on um, your color palette that you prefer. Okay, here's a leather option I'm sure everyone has, which is just a pair of leather skinnies. And here I just went with kind of the on-trend item this season, which is houndstooth. So that just really brought this look to life because it's all basically just super simple basics. Um, but kind of throwing the blazer over my shoulders just gives it a very like elegant and chic look. And I love the turtleneck kind of coming out of the top. I actually tucked my hair into it as well. And you can see just the pieces in the front are hanging out. Again, it just keeps it very clean and kind of like minimalist and you don't see like any hair in the way. And then of course, always throwing on a pair of statement sunnies. Again, these are my favorite from Forever 21, but 
any kind of like Celine like or Celine dupes of sunglasses would be perfect to just kind of like take this look up a notch. Okay, this look may be a little controversial and not for everyone, but I think this is such a fun outfit to like run errands or go to the mall and just be comfy. So this leather shirt is from Zara, I believe, and you can find these types of shirts everywhere. Of course, I'll link some below. And I just paired it with a super girly and feminine skirt. And then of course, threw on some chunky sneakers and then my waist bag from Prada. And I just love the combo of all of these things. It's kind of hard and soft, it's edgy, but it's not, I love it. I also really enjoy the silhouette that these two pair together create. It kind of is like a straight look, but then it billows out at the bottom. And then the chunky sneakers, it's just everything to me. I know everyone won't like it, but I wanted to share it because I loved it. Okay, this leather look is a great example of something that I don't absolutely love in my wardrobe anymore, but I definitely wanna get my use out of it for this season. So this dress is last year's Zara, and I'm just not in love with the overall shape anymore. I don't really like the sleeve length, so I threw a sweater on top of it and then added a fun detail um, with the hat to kind of give it more of an edgy look, but also just more figure flattering in my opinion, and I really love how it turned out. And it basically just looks like a leather skirt, so of course you can do the same thing if you have a leather skirt. But I don't, but I can still at least get my money's worth um, through the rest of the season and then maybe it'll be something I pass on or donate next year. Okay guys that's it that is December's how to looks it up the leather edition. I hope this was helpful of course leave me any comments below let me know which outfit was your favorite which one you want to recreate also um give me any ideas for January's Lux it up if you want to see anything specific. Um, maybe denim, maybe it's a thought, but let me know if you want to see anything. And of course, any feedback is welcomed um, if you have any on this specific style of video. But again, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Instagram at Hilo Lux. Read my blog, hilolux.com. As always, thanks for stopping by. See ya.